Peter Mumba prepares for another day, playing his small but crucial role in a chapter of Kenyan history. Eight months ago, he was barely scratching a living in Mombasa. Now he's part of a growing army of workers on the Standard Gauge Railway. On a basic day, he can earn $6, a lot more with overtime. I can plan for my money. I have six children and this job has helped me keep them all in school. None of them have been sent home because of lack of school fees. Work on the standard gauge railway began earlier this year. And this phase is due for completion a little over 18 months from now. Funded by the Chinese government, the $3 billion project is expected to dramatically improve Kenya's economic development and ultimately its neighbors too. Even a few months into the work, you can see here how the Standard Gauge Railway is transforming the landscape here in Meritini, 40 kilometers outside of Mombasa. Ah, to leave our notice. Mumba is among residents whose homes have been relocated. Late last year, they came and told me that my house was in the way and that it had to be demolished. After negotiations, we were given an award of about 1.5 million shillings. That's around 15,000 US dollars, which he used to buy more land and build a new home for his family. Here, the railway will pass right by them. So Mumba's children will see firsthand what their father helped create. The Standard Gauge Railway project employs at least 25,000 locals. Now these locals come from communities that are directly affected by the railway line. Locals like Peter, who are grateful to have a job in a country where the unemployment rate is ever increasing. Katrina Ogunde, CCTV, Kenya.